A grain as big as a hen's egg. Number one. The children found a thing shaped like a grain of corn in a ravine. The wise man pondered and pondered and could not make head or tail of it. The underlined word means thought carefully. We can give you no answer. Who said this to the king? The learned man. The king's dash found a very old pig and brought him to the king. Servant. Who toted into the king's presence? The very old peasant. Who suggested the king to ask the peasants about the grain? The learned man. Who was still able to see the grain and took a good look at it? The old peasant father. Which question was asked to, to the wise man? What was the thing? When the hen pecked at the grain, it was lying. On the windowsill. There was a dash down the middle of grain of corn. Grove. One day dash found the grain of corn in a ravine. Some children. The old pigeon's grandfather told that they knew nothing of dash. Money. Selling or buying of dash was a sinful act in grandfather's time. Bread. The king asked the grandfather to answer. Two more questions. In my time, money was not yet in use. Who said this? The old pigeon father. The king bought the grain of corn from? A traveller. The traveller bought the grain of corn from children for a? Penny. A hole was made on the grain of corn by? A hen. The learned men searched in their dash to know about the grain of corn. Books. The old pigeon who came to the king first used dash crutches. Two. The first old man was unable to dash the corn. C. The old man's father came to the king with dash. One scorches. I never sowed nor reaped any like it in my field, nor did I ever buy such. Who said it? The old man's father. The old man's father told that during their needs they dashed the corn. Sayer. The old man's grandfather came to the king. Without scorches. It is long since I saw such a fine grain. Who said this? The old man's grandfather. Tell me grandfather, when and where was such corn grown? Was asked by? The king. Buying and selling bread was considered as, da as a dash during grandfather's time. Uh, sign. My field was God's earth. Wherever plucked, there was my field was told by. The old man's grandfather. The old man's grandfather told that during his time land was dash. Free. According to the old grandfather, in the old time men lived according to dash law. God's. In the past people coveted not what other had dash. Product. One day some children found dash in a ravine. A thing shaped like a grain of corn. The king called together his dash. Wise men. The thing shaped like a grain of corn looked as large as a hen's egg. The very old pigeon toted into the king's coat with the help of two crutches. Who came to the king's coat without any crutch? The old man's grandfather. The old pigeon's grandfather spoke distinctly. According to grandfather, the only thing men called their own was labor. The grandfather answered that dash was God's earth. His field. The story, a grain as big as a hen's egg, was written by Leo Tolstoy. Who sold the grain of corn to the king as a curiosity? A traveller. The old pigeon's grandfather replied to the king that dash was free. Land. The person who came to the king's court with the help of two crutches was? The old man. In grandfather's time, dash was the only thing the people called their own. Labour. When and where was such corn grown? The king asked this question to? The old pigeon grandfather. The grandfather lived on corn as big as a hen's egg in his dash days. Young days. In my time, money was not in use, was a statement of? Old man's father. Who was Ashipel? The old peasant. Who came walking with one crutch? The old peasant father.